Alright, so I think it would be time to do the last part of the tutorial. I'm just going to combine the um, ex exporting and compiling because they're pretty much like one step. Um, okay, so last time uh, we ended uh, on texturing and UV mapping and uh, so uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the exported SMD and the physics model that we made and we're going to turn those into like the MDL files and the VTF and VMT files that we want for the source engine. So the easiest way to do uh, to export a model like this is basically uh, decompiling um, a, like, uh, a model already in the game and then just using uh, parts from those to compile it. You can do it manually but I recommend just using GCFscape. Um, so you open up GCFscape, go to Team Fortress 2 content, and what we're going to do is we're going to make the heavy hat that we made replace the ghastly gibbous so that we can just see it in game. Uh, so go to TF, models, player, items, heavy, and then go find where it says heavy domination because that's uh, the, the hat that we want. Select all those and drag them into the input folder that we made at the very beginning of this tutorial. You can go ahead and close that. So um, open up the input folder, uh, find the MDL file, open it in Notepad++, change the IDST0 to IDST, comma. save that. You can close that. Now go open up MDL decompiler, um, locate the MDL file that we just changed. It should be right here. And select your output folder as the place where we want to extract. So then click extract. It should say loaded model, completed dumping model, stuff, whatever. And then once you're done, click exit. Go to your output folder. Now here's a bunch of files. You have three SMD files. You have the reference mesh right here which is what the actual like model is. You have the idle.smd which is your animation so it's just it's just an idle animation not doing anything and you have your physics model. So this just com decompiled the um, the ghastly gibbous for the heavy. So you also have a, a QC file which is used to compile uh, SMD files. So we're just gonna right click this we're gonna rename it to whatever our project is so bucket QC. That's not needed but I like doing that. Alright, so um, in this case we're just going to replace the heavy domination uh, dmx.smd with our own model so that when it compiles in-game um, uh, it'll rep we can see it on the heavy as if you were wearing the ghastly gibbous. So now what we're going to do is we're going to want to open up Milkshape 3D if it'll open and we're going to import file import Half-Life 2 SMD go to uh, the heavy domination dmx.smd, import that, leave everything checked, and you can see here that it is the uh, the ghastly gibbous. Um, and the reason that there are like nine different ghastly gibbouses is because each hat has to go on a different height for each class because not all the characters are the same height. Um, so then import your bucket.smd that we made in the the base folder hit ok it should be like way over here um, so just that's ok go to groups select your the one that you made uh, move it to where it's gonna be like on the heavy this is this is important because this is how it's gonna show up um, we're gonna rotate it into the right uh, the right way. Uh, one more time. There we go. And we're just going to zoom in here. Move it. Alright. And then it's almost done. Now we're going to scale it a little bit. Scale it by 1.1 a couple times until you have it nice. And 
nicely how you want it. All right. Once you're done, I, I'm not gonna make it perfect for the this tutorial, but once you have it nicely, uh, select the ghastly gibbous. You can delete that. Go into the materials. Delete its material too. So select the bucket again. Uh, go to joints and click assign, so that it assigns this new joint, this bone, to your model. Uh, now we're gonna export it. File export Half-Life 2 SMD and we're gonna replace uh, the Ghastly Gibbous SMD right here, Heavy Domination DMX SMD. Go ahead and save over that. Yes. Now uh, we're gonna make a physics model for this so we can tell the source engine how to interact with it physically. Uh, so import a Half-Life 2 SMD. Go to the bucket Fizz FY or phy.smd and uh, import that. It should be the same way you had it before. Select that. Drag it over. Rotate it the same way. Um, scale it to how you had the hat. And then just rotate it. So that'll be our physics model. So then you do the same thing, deselect everything, select your bucket, delete it, delete its uh, material to, and then um, you don't have to assign the bone this time, and then just export it as Half-Life 2 SMD. Uh, in the output folder, just save it as the uh, phymodel.smd, overwrite that. Yes. So we're done with Milkshape. Now, um, the idle.smd, you can open that up with Notepad++. Change all of these values right here to zero uh, point zero 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 zero. So you can just you know copy and paste it like so. Just th this is just this. Um, and, and if you don't do this, sometimes when you're looking at it in the model viewer, it shows up all wacky. Like when you're trying to rotate it, um, it it has a weird like orientation. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. So then you can save that and close it. OK, so we're done setting up the SMD files. Um, uh, so it'll compile with the model, but not with the texture. So now go back into your uh, the bucket folder. Uh, open up the, or actually, um, open up VTF edit. Um, this should be after you had already, we already did the texturing, so we're fine. Uh, and go to file, import, and then go to the bucket folder. And we're going to start with the red one because the red texture always comes first when you're doing skin families. Uh, so open that up. You should see it right here. That's good. So we're going to save as, go into your textures folder and save it as bucket. All right. Then click File, New, and right now uh, we don't have anything. So what we're going to do, open up GCFscape again. Uh, go to Team Fortress 2 Materials this time. Uh, TF, Materials, Models, Player, Items, Heavy, and then find the, or actually, uh, sorry, items all class and then all domination dot vmt this is just like uh, the the vmt tells you um, 